Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a quick and simple tutorial on how to download mods into your game, mods and CC and all that stuff. So I wanted to start in my game because before you download any sort of mods and CC, you just need to check that in your game they are enabled. So how you do this is just go to game options and then you will go to other down here and yeah. It's, it should have enable custom content and mods, script mods allowed if you want, you know, script mods. And, th and it has all your, you know, mods, all my mods in here. You just need to make sure that this is, you know, on. Otherwise, it, like, nothing will show up in your game and you'll be like, what the heck's going on? But it just need to make sure that this is enabled before we go and download some CC. So now I am just on Trilogy's Tumblr, who is an amazing CC creator. If you uh, guys don't know any CC creators, uh, I would really recommend Triliki. Uh They are amazing. They make amazing CC. So I thought I'd just come on her Tumblr here. Um, I, I will link it down in the description if you do want to get some of the CC. All of uh, all of their CC is incredible. So yeah. Um, so we have these little sandals here, and I'm just gonna download them just to show you guys how to download mods and how to put it in your game. So now we're at patreon which i love patreon patreon's the best um i have my own patreon but yeah so we have we have a little sandals and i'm just gonna download these quickly you just download it like you would any other file and so now that is in our little downloads bar here so what now it should be in your downloads like little yeah wherever you get stuff downloaded to <laughs> i guess and uh, just ignore this, it's a mess. My downloads thing is an absolute mess. Just ig ignore all these, ignore all these. This is um, the sandals here. And then I actually have my mods um, folder pinned to my little, little search bar here. So I don't have to go find it every time, which I would really recommend doing after you've found it. But to get to your mods folder, if you haven't already, you know, if this is your first time downloading mods, you obviously won't have this, you know, pinned. So you go to this PC, you go to documents. This may be a bit different for you because it may, you know, different computers may have different things. I don't know what it is for Mac and stuff, but this is definitely a Windows one. So we have this PC, you go to documents, go to electronic arts, the Sims 4, and then there should be a mods folder in the, you know, in there. So this is just my mods folder. Yeah, that's just pretty much how you get to the mods folder. Just to ignore all this stuff. Um, I don't know if you have the mods folder before, if you have to make one. I do feel like you get it already. Maybe you make one, actually. You may make a mods folder. So if it's not there, just make a mods folder. Just make a new folder and call it mods, basically. I think that's how I did it. I don't know. Anyway. But yeah, I have all my mods in here. And then now, oh, I actually need to close my game. Let me just do, let me just do that real quick because I can't download mods with my game still open. Okay, there we go. Game is closed, so we can download some mods. Um, when you found your mods folder, it will obviously be empty. It won't have all this stuff. Um, I would recommend if you are going to do like a big binge, like download and just download loads of stuff. I would recommend having little folders. I personally like just don't have that many mods, so. It's not like I can't find stuff, like I just go through this and go, okay, yeah, that's a mod, let me take it out or whatever. I don't have that many that I need to like put them in separate folders. But if you do, you know, need to put them in, you know, if you do want to download loads, I would recommend doing little ones like this. So I have like my tattoos here, I have like skin details here, I have like, you know, toddler toys, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but like just separate little things like hairs, if you're going to do hairs and clothes and yeah, yeah. or you could do it by creator so the creators of the cc depends what you want to do right but then i just open like a separate one so it's a bit easier so i get this you go back to downloads and just put the cc into the mods folder and then it should be there and then boom it's now in your mods folder and it should be in your game uh if there's any other like technical difficulties or if it's not in your game um please do like comment because I, I i don't know what you know other people's computers have or you know that sort of thing it, it should be in your game now so i hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial very simple again ignore this don't look at that 
I may do like another video on like my whole mods folder and if you guys want to know every single one of like the mods in CC I have, I can do a video like that. I don't have that many, so I can just do like a whole video showing you everything I have. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I know this is a bad like stopping screen. This is a bad screen to stop at because it just looks really bad. But um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe and let me know if you guys want any more tutorial videos and let me know if, you know, I got anything wrong or it didn't show up in your game and I can probably help you with that. So yeah, uh, please let me know and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!